Hello everyone, breaking headline parody story to report entertainment show. Uh, black, uh, a man from the Philippines, Jari Boeing, he's uh, 23.6 inches tall. He's been credited by the Guinness Book of World's Record as being the shortest man living today. There was a another record holder, but he was three inches taller than Jareed Boeing of Sing something in the Philippines. And the man is 18 years of age and his parents said when the boy was born, he was of normal size. And then when the boy got four years old, the boy just seemed to quit growing but they, they they were poor they said they couldn't seek medical treatment for the boy because they they were poor but uh shortly after that his uh his dad was a blacksmith and he got a job he was unemployed but he got a job and uh, they were able to take care of the boy the man and they said that the uh, man, the shortest man, uh, Jerry Bowling, he don't have a girlfriend. And uh, I think that uh, now that the word's out, he don't have a girlfriend, there'd be hundreds of millions of girls sending him an email if they could get a hold of his email address i think they would want to go out with him the shortest man alive and uh, recorded he's a guinness book world record holder i wish the boy man great success hope he does well I, I want to break away for a second to tell you who I am I'm, and uh, then I'm going to get back to this story. It's a real entertaining story and uh, I'm Rodney Dangerfield's cousin. Y'all know my cousin. He don't get no respect. I don't, I don't get no respect. It seemed like after my cousin deceased, the monkey jumped on my back that uh, about three times as bad that uh, everywhere I go, I don't get no respect. I went to buy me a pack of cigarettes the other day. I'm 63 years old, and it's a bitch boy behind the counter. He carded me for my ID. I said, hey, pal, I'm 63 years old. Then I went, I don't get no respect. I went to get me a six-pack of beer. Another bitch boy carded me. I said, hey, pal, I'm 63 years old. I don't get no respect. And then I went to a family restaurant, went to pay for my food, another bitch boy was charging me full price. I said, hey, hey pal, I want my senior citizens discount. He carded me. I, you know, I, I don't get no respect. I took my wife to a dude ranch. She left me for a black dude. My wife turned gay on me. I said, honey, why would you turn gay on me? She said, with men like you in the world that makes women turn gay, I tell you, I don't get no respect. One day, my wife and I was fixing to make love, and she was on the bed, her legs like in a figure four position, just in a deep stare. I said, honey, what's wrong? You can't think of anyone to fantasize you had sex with while we make love. She said, no. I said, hell with it, neither can I. So we didn't have sex that day. And uh, anyway, the pressure was getting to me. So I went on the internet to freepornphonesex.com and all it is is a recording of a girl. It's just a recording. She'll say, hey, lover boy, I'm having a party in my mouth. Would you like to come? She'll say, over the telephone, I'll fantasize having sex with you. I'll suck on your neck, French kiss you, French kiss your ears. Let's go in the front door, back door, side door. I don't care. I love it all. 
And I have to admit, it got my dangling excited, and I called a live service, and the girl said my voice was too ugly for her to talk to over the telephone. I tell you, I don't get no respect. I want to break away now to tell you my disclaimer. Some of the names have been changed to protect the innocent and the guilty, and some of the pictures have been changed to protect the innocent and the guilty. And everything in my parody story entertainment show is a parody. That means not don't take it seriously, don't take it personal, don't try anything I say at home. If you do, check with your attorney first, and then still don't do it. I'm a professional. No amateur should ever try anything I say. If you disagree with my disclaimer, get your happy ass off my channel immediately. So anyways, then I need to generate some money. My brother bought a 55 Chevy back in 1955 for $1,850. He gave it to me. I drove it for around 10 years. Then I set it up on a family farm. It stayed up there for over 20 years. And I found out about this free buy, sell, trade, anything.com on that website. You can put anything you have for sale on there free and then it'll keep reposting on the Mars calendar for 30 days. And then it'll just keep reposting for another 30 days till you decide to take it off. It's free to put it on there, free to look. I didn't think I could lose the debt, but I put it on there. I sold it for $3,000 and I generated some money. And then my wife and I, uh, you know, everybody say, why would your wife leave you for a black man? And I go, well, I guess she want to get back with her own color. So um, we, we went on and got a divorce. And uh, I, on that free buy, sell, trade, anything.com, they got a personal section on there. And I put on there, I was looking for a young 21-year-old uh, girl to, you know, go to church with me, go to movies, go to dinner. And a young girl, a Caucasian girl, 21 years old, uh, can, uh, you know, sent me an email, and now we're lovers. We're engaged to be married. She weighs 105 pounds. Her teeth are perfect. And uh, she just, her legs are real flexible. You can bend her legs back like a frog's legs. Everything's real good with that. We're deeply in love. She's never had a baby before. She wants me to get her pregnant. We're engaged, and she's always asked me, do you love me anymore? Where are you going? When are you coming back? How long are you going to be gone? Do you love me? I always say I love her more and more and more and more. And I don't mind playing the lover's game with her because our love is true love. But this boy man in the Philippines, he's, he's, you know, he's the shortest man by the Guinness Book of World Records. Now that the cat's out of the bag, so to speak, I believe the boy's going to get a girlfriend. I hope he does. Hope he has a lot of babies. Hope he does well. And everything goes real good for the boy, I think. I think everything's gonna do good for him. Hope it does. If there's, I notice there's a lot of critics in the world. You criticize Muhammad Ali, Elvis Presley, Howard Cosell, Nelson Mandela, Michael Jackson, Paris Hilton, Charlie Sheen. Nelson Mandela? You criticize Nelson Mandela? If you criticize those people, you critics are beautiful. Maybe you can criticize me or my show. Maybe I can do better. But anyways, if anybody has any comments about my show, I'd like you to type them underneath my show. And if anybody wants to see any more of my shows, type in Rodney Dangerfield Cousin. That's my show. God bless everybody.